I said, hey, this is the wrong neighborhood. Obviously, there's multiple patrol vehicles in here, and you picked the wrong one. Two teens accused of breaking into cars in a neighborhood in Flagler County, and they did not pick their target wisely. It turns out an off-duty police officer lived in that home. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm John Brown. And I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. The officer was watching the teens in action as they pulled on the car's handles. Fox 35's Patrick Perez joins us live outside the Bunnell Police Department tonight. And Patrick, that off-duty cop helped catch them himself. Yeah, Marlisa, this officer was just trying to enjoy his time off from work. He never thought he'd have to solve a crime right in his own front yard. And I literally told the officers that showed up. I was like, I did not think this is going to happen on my only day off. Like, <laughs> This Central Florida police officer found himself back on the clock Wednesday night after these two teens picked the wrong house. Yeah, why are you all searching for people's cars? I was playing video games and... I started getting alerts on my phone, and as I looked at the cameras, I see two males, uh, one hiding behind the car, one at my wife's car, pulling the door handle, seeing if it was unlocked. This all unfolded inside the Grand Reserve subdivision in Bunnell, which appears to be home to lots of cops. I mean, there's pretty much a vehicle a cop on every end of this road um, going all the way out. So it only makes sense this officer, who does not want to be identified, wanted to keep the peace. I ended up confronting the two. I said, hey, this is the wrong neighborhood. Obviously, there's multiple patrol vehicles in here, yeah. and you picked the wrong one. With the help of Bunnell police officers and Flagler County Sheriff's deputies, he helped arrest the teens. They took off running on foot, hopped in my uh, patrol vehicle, ended up going down the road, hopping out, chasing them on foot, where Flagler ended up catching them with me. They ended up arresting two boys, a 16-year-old and a 17-year-old. We're not naming them because of their ages. Both are facing three burglary charges. Neither one of the two teens lives in the area. One fessed up and said he did it to help pay to fix his cell phone. This officer isn't buying it. They could use any excuse they want to use, but you're taken away from people that earn hard for what they have, and especially just close as it is to holidays, you're trying to take away from them. So in total, police say those two teens burglarized two cars, but they didn't get away with anything. After they were arrested, they were released back to their parents. We're live in Bunnell tonight. I'm Patrick Perez, Fox 35 News. All right, thanks, Patrick. And one of the parents of the teens told police that their son was supposed to be spending the night at the grandma's house. Apparently, nobody knew that he snuck out.